Good morning and welcome to Our Lady of Peace as we celebrate the Solemnity of Mary, the Holy Mother of God. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. With your spirit. <clears throat> Happy New Year. As we prepare to celebrate this mystery of great love, let us acknowledge our own sins and ask the Lord for his forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestow on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience that intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless us. May God bless. 
Until all creation stands in awe. May God bless us. May God bless us. May God bless us in His mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son, and if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them, in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
when I was a young lad, we would often take Sunday afternoons after our midday meal, and uh, we would do two things. Because my mom was from Italy, we always went to the cemetery. I don't know what the connection is, but we always went to the cemetery, paid our respects. And then after that, we would often go to one of my dad's cousin's house. Uh, I was one of three boys, and uh, his cousin had three daughters, and they had a nice big backyard that we did not have. And we would just have a great time just playing. I have a distinct memory that one evening at the end of a Sunday visit, we were being corralled by my mom and dad to get to the car, meet at the car, because then we're going to get in and head home. It was that time of night in the warmth of July. The fireflies, I recall, were dancing across the field, which was right across from their house. As we waited for my parents, I think it was my middle brother, it always is, and, and he, he yelled out, come on, let's go. And all of a sudden, much to our surprise, within seconds, we heard, come on, let's go, let's go. Here it was an echo. What I didn't realize is across the field was a big building. It was uh, some manufacturing firm, I think. And the sound bounced back to us in the damp summer air. And then, of course, when three little boys find out that something echoes, it gets crazy. You know, we're yelling and it's yelling back to us, and it's kind of fun. Well, today's gospel, I like to call it a Christmas echo, whereby we hear the echo of the shepherds in the nativity story last week, and now here it is again echoing the same sound. And it was, all who heard it were amazed by what had been told to them by the shepherds. So what we did was we took last week's Christmas gospel, we kind of moved it down a few paragraphs, and now it's kind of overlapping. That's the echo. And then the story then continues. And then it says, And Mary kept all these things in her heart. As you and I might hold some of the growing up events that we had dear to us, I think Mary did the same thing. She held the events of Jesus' birth, as well as other stories from her son's life, very close to her heart. It is said by some scripture scholars, some believe that perhaps Mary herself was interviewed by St. Luke as he was composing his gospel. Now, there's different points of view on it. I get it. But I thought that was an interesting one because there's, there's almost like too many details for someone just to invent. And to hear that gospel every year with all those details is something I think that just naturally attracts us. It's almost like asking our mom or our dad or our grandma or grandpa, hey, tell me that story about such and such again. I like that story. Today's solemnity of Mary, the mother of God, I think is a theological echo. A theological echo of belief from the earliest years of the church Mary was not known only just as the mother of Jesus, the man born in Bethlehem, who unfortunately died in Mount Calvary, but she was preeminently known as the one who bears God himself. In Greek, they use the, phrase, the term theotokos, which means the God-bearer, the mother of God. This concept of Mary being the mother of God was not invented at Vatican II 60 years ago. It wasn't invented at the Reformation 600 years ago. This was a belief by those who knew the apostles only years after Jesus' death, resurrection, and ascension. What we are celebrating today is a very ancient echo of our faith. Jesus is God as well as human. He's not our buddy. He's our Lord. And as such, her birthing him is truly 
Mary birthing God, not just Jesus only in his human nature. And this is why we really need to tell the story of the nativity of Jesus year after year in our liturgical calendar. We do that along with the other great feasts of the church in order that we can see in his life a man who indeed grew in age and grace just as we want to grow in our own lives. This telling, this echoing the doctrine of Mary, the mother of God, is important because it fights against the idea that Jesus was just a human baby. He was just like us. Well, yes, in many ways he was just like us. He was a tiny little infant. He cried. He needed to be nursed. He needed to be cleaned. There was a point in his life he was so innocent, just like you and I, so young those first few days, he couldn't roll over like you and I can do so easily. He couldn't speak. He cried. In many ways, he was like us, but he wasn't just like us. Jesus was also God made in the flesh, who enjoyed all the joys and sorrows that we encounter. It's important that we, too, pass on who Mary was, so that future generations of Christians will always understand that God is not just some distant spirit we outside of us somewhere, that because of Mary, he is now close to us in a way that we could never have been close to him before the nativity. We love Jesus because he was a person not an idea. We love Mary because Jesus represents one of us, a human who set aside everything to respond to the will of the Father, in a sense, imitating and echoing Mary's response to the request of God through the angel. And so, brothers and sisters, the ultimate goal is this. The echo of our faith makes all the difference in how we live our religious lives today and every day. So listen to the echo and follow his lead. Let us join our voices with multitudes of people throughout the globe as we pray these holy words. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now present to our Lord 
these our petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, may God bless him with a year of good health as he leads the church in wisdom and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the Lord strengthen them in integrity and courage for leadership that safeguards all human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lack hope, may the promise of the Lord's faithfulness bring them consolation and joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may Christ who came in flesh to save us be born anew in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in faith, may they soon rejoice in God's presence, glorifying and praising him for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the parishioners of Our Lady of Peace Parish, whom we remember in a special way at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, your blessed mother Mary is a profound link to you, and we thank you for the gift of your mother. Her saying yes to your heavenly father changed world history, and now we remember her with great love. So as we continue to celebrate this liturgy, Lord Jesus, we ask you to present our needs to your heavenly Father, and we pray that our prayers may be worthy of his hearing. We ask this in your name, Christ the Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, dear friends, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of Julian for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself, in a similar way, when supper was ended, took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this 
in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Patrick, the patron saint of the Diocese of Erie, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, and Lawrence, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you with their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. i
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us over live stream, let us pray together the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and mother of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, on behalf of myself and Father Rich, Father Shane, and all of our deacons, as well as our staff here at Elite Peace, we wish you a beautiful, wonderful, happy new year. Um, there are no specific announcements other than please join us again this weekend. Uh, we will be having Mass tomorrow morning as normal at 8 a.m., followed by confessions. Uh, the normal schedule starts back up. So um, in the meantime, enjoy a peaceful day. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God deeply love and bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord and each other. Thanks be to God. Thank you.